What is good, YouTubers and fellow Smash players, connoisseurs, and enjoyers? NPS has returned, and this is the video that I had said I would be uploading. How to update the FOB 2.0 so that you can program it and calibrate it and do all the nice things that you need to do for gameplay. When I was building my Ultimate Controller yesterday, I was unable to find the straightforward information that I was looking for. I'm more of a visual learner, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys are too. I like to watch a video on how to do something rather than just read a script on how to do it. So... I wasn't able to find the guide that I was looking for yesterday, so I decided to make it after figuring out what needed to be done. So I'm going to be enlightening you all with this today. So this is how to update the FOB 2.0 for programming, calibration, and all of that. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a data cable USB cord. Now, a lot of cords, just like with the FOB 1.2, they look similar, and you'll think a charger, a charging cord will do the trick, but... A lot of cables don't actually come with data capacity, so it has to be able to transfer data. So you're going to take your data capable USB cord and you're going to insert it here. You're inserting it here first because the next step that you're going to do is going to be easier with it inserted into the board first rather than the computer. So you see this button right here? This button, you have to press and hold it as you insert this part of the cable into your laptop or your computer that you're going to be using to update this so we're going to go ahead and do that now press on it hold down and then insert it when you insert it and if that window pops up you can let go of the button now i would like to say that this little box or window right here has similar functionalities to a USB storage device, flash drive, whatever you want to call it. So with this window popping up, the next step is fairly simple. I'm going to leave the link to this in the description. You're going to go to the releases part. You're going to scroll down. You're going to download this file. Once you download this file, here's all you have to do. Grab it, drag it, and place it onto the window, this window right here, which is the FOB information for itself. Once you let go, this window will disappear, and you won't see this file inside of it anymore. But don't worry, that just means that your FOB has been successfully updated with the firmware that it needs in order to run. So I'm going to let go of the file, and you're going to see what happens. It uploads the file and then it disconnects. Congratulations, your FOB has not been programmed with the necessary software in order for you to calibrate it. So the calibration process is the exact same for using the FOB 1.2 board. You just go ahead, open up Dolphin, boot up Smash Scope, or is it open up Smash Scope and boot up Dolphin? I'm not entirely sure. It's a muscle memory for me at this point, but yeah, open it, calibrate it, and I will link that video in the end of this video as well. But yeah, the calibration process is pretty straightforward. And another pointer, when I was calibrating my fob, the buttons weren't moving as I was calibrating it, but I just kept going anyways because that was the instructions and it worked. So even if your button isn't moving while you're calibrating your controller, just keep going because... Your board is taking notes and it will be updated accordingly. So yeah, that has been the simple video that I think should have existed a lot sooner than today. But for some reason, I guess I had to do it. So yeah, this is how to update and flash your FOB 2.0 so that you can do whatever you need to do with it. Like I said, if you're in, um, if you're installing the ShineWave mod, you should probably program your fob because you're going to need to access this button and the shine wave mod for the led lights does go right over it so it kind of makes it hard to access so yeah that's how to update your fob 2.0 and if you guys got any comments or questions leave them in the description not the description leave them in the comment section i'll see y'all